Here's what you need to know in order to go to a blues jam. You need to know how to play the minor pentatonic scale. You need to understand what the one, four, and five chord is in a key. And you need to practice soloing. If you want to do those things, it's as simple as picking up a guitar. Probably you can get a pretty cheap Squire or something for about a hundred bucks. Picking up a guitar cable, starting learning some of this stuff and practicing, maybe getting a looping pedal so you can play the chords and, the, and then practice soloing over them. If you're interested in doing this, I would recommend checking out this course called justinguitar.com. It's free and it goes through all sorts of blue stuff from the beginning. You can just start learning about it. It will have stuff about the minor pentatonic scale. Well, he'll lay it out for you and say all of the note names. And it will have stuff about different chords and so a little bit of music theory. Briefly, I'm just gonna go over some music theory about chords. There's chords for every letter of the alphabet from A to G. And then it starts over again. In between all of the letters, there are sharps, except for between B and C and E and F. So E sharp is just F. There's, there's no E sharp. But there is an F sharp, and that's halfway between F and G. So that's just some really basic stuff. If you have no music theory experience, that can get you started. But once you have that understood, you can basically just go like this. I'm in the key of E. What is the fourth of this key? E, F, G, A. The fourth is A. The fifth, what is the fifth of the key? The fifth is B, because it's five letters after that, right? The way a blues works, you play the one chord for four bars, so four, four measures. That's if you're like one, two, three, four. That's a bar, right? So you play four bars of the one chord, which is the, the key you're in. Then you play two bars of the four chord. So in the key of E, E, F, G, A, the four chord is A. You play that for two bars. Then you play E for two bars. Then you go to the fifth, E, F, G, A, B. The fifth is B. Then you go to the fourth, it's A. And then you play the one chord for two bars. So you might be like, how do I do that? What are chords? Just, just bear with me. You're just gonna play this, you're gonna be able to look up chord shapes. It's really not that complicated. I can give you some really simple ones right here and right now that you can get started with. I would highly recommend you check out the Justin Guitar course though, because he will get you started on it. You just gotta follow it, do the lessons every day. In a few weeks or a month, you should be able to go to a blues jam if you're practicing. It's not that difficult to just go through the lessons and start practicing moving your fingers as long as you do it consistently. Here's a couple shapes just to get started. So this is a this is a this is a um, seven chord right here. I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see where my fingers are. Here, here, here. It's a little triangle, just three fingers on these frets. is on this fret right here. This is an E. So if you move it to here, since this note is a D, then it's a D chord now. All right, then to move up a fourth, you can just move up one fret. So now you're playing an A chord here, but you're gonna have to move this finger up one fret because of how the strings are. They're not all like a fourth apart. So it's a little bit different. This chord is an A chord. A7 chord actually, sorry, this is an E7 chord, this is A7 chord, this is a B7 chord. You just move this whole thing up one. So you can go. Just play the blues. So 
those are the basic steps you're going to want to take. And you can find Blues Jams really easily just by Googling Blues Jams near me. You're going to meet a bunch of musicians. It's going to be the first step towards just learning and meeting a ton of people, having a lot of fun and being creative. So for whatever reason you came to this video, I hope it helps you.